we just got back to the room and that is honestly so cute it's because we're oh look the wrote on the thing as well and yeah welcome to milan <laughs> That was actually a TikTok recommender. Milan, here we go. Welcome to our hotel in Milan. So we've checked in in Milan and I look so disgusting. I just washed my face and brushed my teeth to try and freshen up a little bit. Um, me and Jake are actually gonna go and have a massage at six o'clock and then come back get ready and go out for some food which will be super nice um i already love milan it feels just like a bigger london i think like a hot london but yeah so far so good So I look so tired, but that was actually such an amazing massage. Um, the place was huge. I've never seen something so like big in my whole life. It was like honestly amazing. Um, Jake said it was actually the best massage he's ever had. I went more relaxing, but it was Thai. And then you got like a shower at the end to like wash all the oil off. It was honestly 12 out of 10 experience. I was a bit nervous going in because I was like, didn't know what to expect. Sorry, my camera went off, but yes. That was unreal. Amazing, now back to the hotel to get glammed and we're going for Chinese food tonight, which the hotel recommended, so yes, excited. We just got back to the room and that is honestly so cute. It's because we're, oh look, they've wrote on the thing as well. <laughs> oh, dear Mr. and Mrs. Bell, welcome to me, Milan, Eldigo. We wish you a happy honeymoon and congratulations. Oh, enjoy this special moment. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so we just literally walked in the room and then I've seen all the balloons at the um, roof. How cute is that? Um, I think it's because when we got here, they were like, oh, are you here for anything special? And we're like, oh, excuse me, we got married last year, uh, last last week and the guy was like really nice and he never obviously said anything and then we've been out and they've done that that is honestly the cutest that's made my day as long as along with the time massage i can't get my words out and um, but i actually need to get ready now because we're heading out for food so i'm gonna get ready and yeah welcome to milan night one in milan and this is the outfit so it's a quick turnaround. I've just done a really sleek bun with this hair because I need to sort my hair tomorrow. I'm gonna get a blow dry, I think. But it's a night one in Milan. I'm so glad we did the massage because I wasn't gonna really, I wasn't really wanting to. And then I'm really glad we did. Just got a quick change and then shower and stuff. And then we're heading out now. And when I got off the vlog before and I stopped recording, Jake was like, you keep saying Chinese, but it's like Asian food that we're actually going for. Um, so I will show you where that is. But I'm ready for some food now. And thankfully it's actually cooled down quite a lot, which I'm grateful for. But yes, just gonna head for food. Probably have like an early-ish night because it has been a long day, but I love Milan. I already want to come back. I don't think we're here for long enough because we're only here for literally like two nights but the hotel and everything is just amazing um so yeah let's head out i feel more myself now i've got makeup on and feeling a bit more. so i was saying a bit more like myself because i've got makeup on and i feel like me with lashes and liner on so anyway i'm gonna start vlogging and 
can we also talk about the impracticality of this little bag that fits nothing in um yeah totally impractical but cute we've arrived at our destination why can't i speak <laughs> we have arrived at our destination oh well it must be good because it's busy oh wow I made a reservation for uh, half past. to Milan full day so I'm gonna say day one and um, it's like 10 to 8 and me and Jake are already out I've got my sunglasses on because I look truly truly disgusting and um, not disgusting that's like negative but I just feel like I look really tired I've got no makeup on because we're basically going to see the Dumo now and do like a little bit of mooching round and then we're going to this spa that I found on TikTok at 11, so I didn't want to put any makeup on. And then we're going to go home tonight, not home, back to the hotel after the spa, get ready, go for rooftop drinks and then some food. So we've got such a jam-packed day, 7am alarm, I was feeling it. I feel like I've not had a lie in this holiday, but anyway, it's all good. I can lie in when I get home. But yeah, so just literally going to head now to the Dumo and hopefully for a coffee because this girl needs a coffee but it's very early it's actually nice because it's not boiling hot that's why we decided to get up early to do like a walk it's like a half an hour walk from our hotel to the Dumo um, and there's like this lovely place of shops so I'll be happy to do some shops too um, but yeah and then we're going straight to the spa and that looks amazing and I think after like a long walk and a mooch I'll be ready to chill out and dive in that pool can't wait Wowza Manali. So we've just been having a little mooch around, went to the Starbucks Reserve Roastery, which was actually so cool. Um, and we're now going to have a quick look in Zara and then we're heading to the spa. So I'm very excited, ready to have a dunk in the pool. So far love Milan. It's by the way only 10 a.m. and we've done so much already. But yeah, love Milan. Don't want to go home tomorrow if I'm honest. But all good things must come to an end. Just arriving at the spa.
So we've just been for the most delicious pasta. That was actually a TikTok recommend. That's at the Jake we're going basically on TikTok recommends for the full day. Um, but actually it was like amazing. Um, like actually so good. And then heading now to the hotel to, to get ready and changed. I didn't make that clear. We're walking all the way back to the hotel. I'm probably gonna have like a little chill and then we're going to the hotel's rooftop tonight for drinks and then we need to find a place for more food but I don't think we're gonna have food until like nine ten o'clock what time are we on now hmm, quarter four so yes we'll be having a very late dinner because we've just stuffed our faces with pasta I was saying to Jake I feel like we'll, cut, we'll never even get dessert because we're too far too full and that was only one course so it's crazy how full you get off some pasta. Okay, so it's our last night in Milan and the hotel left us a bottle of champagne which I'm about to open. I've got this like blue sparkly dress on from H&M. It looks like it's sat weird on the top but it's actually so nice with a little black slip underneath. But I'm gonna have a little glass of Prosecco and then me and Jake are heading to the rooftop bar for some sunset drinks, I'll say sunrise, sunset drinks. And um, we've just been napping as well. We we're both so tired, we've done like 12,000 steps today, I think, maybe 13,000 or something. So shattered. I've just been also finishing up packing, ready for tomorrow morning, really sad, but yeah. All good things have to come to an end, and honestly, this has just been the dream. But anyway, I'll go into more detail about that later. But let's crack open this Prosecco and let's go out. Tonight is all about the sparkle. So we've been to the rooftop and now we're heading to the pizza. It's what time is it? It is live. Five past nine. So we're in the pizza place, but we've been given a very random table, just like us two. And it's busy everywhere else, but we're basically just going to ride it out because the pizzas look really good. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what we get. And also, can I just say, very sad that we'll leave tomorrow. Can't believe it, very, 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 very sad. The trip has to be ended one way and one way only. Venshua. Venshi. And that is the end of our little extended wedding trip. Very, very, very sad. Could cry. Just got a bus back to the airport and now we're heading home. So I just wanted to quickly come on at the end of the video. I know I just ended it, but basically I just wanted to kind of say that honestly, we loved Milan so much. And obviously by the length of this video, you'll already probably know we weren't in Milan for very long. We were there one evening we had, then we had a full day and then we came home the next day. Milan actually was more of like a way to get home from Venice, if that makes sense. But if we knew now what we knew then when we booked it i think we actually would have stayed in um 
Venice for like a little bit shorter and then Milan for a little bit longer and just like broken up in half even instead of like five days in Venice and then you know two well one full day in um, Milan but I am really 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 keen to go back because honestly it was amazing and it was just like it felt like a city obviously like London but obviously it was so hot we did some really gorgeous things and um, quite a few of the things we did actually on that trip on this trip was actually TikTok recommendations. And I just wanted to say a little bit about the spa because obviously if you're watching this and you're going to Milan, that spa's really raved about on TikTok. And put it into perspective, me and Jake had been in Venice without a pool for like five days and it was so hot and all I was excited for was to jump in a pool and just like relax. But if I'm being honest, the spa wasn't actually that relaxing because it was so popular obviously and it's not that expensive it was like 70 pounds per person i think for like five hours which actually isn't really that expensive if you thought about a spa in england like it's not for five hours is like pretty good um it was actually 70 euros should i say but yeah so because it was like pretty reasonable it was really busy and obviously because the spa will be thinking they can make all of this money because so many people are coming to it and also tiktok blew it up it was such a nice spa but i don't really think you could make the most out of it because it didn't feel relaxing because it was actually so busy like there was just so many people in the pools and stuff and there was so many different rooms like saunas like every di different type of sauna you could possibly think of but would i say it was relaxing no not really um i guess it is an experience and i'm glad we went because i would have wondered what it was like but obviously when you see it on tiktok you do see sort of a different side and it makes it look really quiet and actually that is another thing it what it is obviously tiktok famous and it blew up on tiktok there was actually a lot of people like filming um filming when they were there like their phones in these like one of the pools i actually put in it was like a cinematic room it was like the the main tiktok you'll have seen if you have seen it if not then you'll not know what i'm talking about it's like a rain experience kind of room pool people had their phones in there like filming themselves and i obviously do youtube and i love instagram and i love tiktok but like for me going to a spa is like I just wanted to relax. I know I did film a few clips, but that was just like to kind of show where I was. I wasn't like filming anyone. And obviously, I don't know. I just don't really think it was what I expected. Let's just say that. Um, but it was lovely. Like it is, if it was quieter, it would have been a different experience because you could have just like relaxed a bit more, I think is kind of what I'm trying to say. But I just wanted to put that in because obviously I didn't really go into loads of detail about the spa and kind of why we went but yeah a few tiktok recommendations and milan is a place i'm dying to go back to you can actually get a train and i think we would have done this if we had one more day you can get a train to lake como which takes like 40 minutes from milan and i would have loved to have done that and just stayed in milan but went for the day and um, but obviously we didn't have enough time to do that but i did really love it and I'm kind of glad I guess that we only went for a little bit of time because actually it means that there is a reason to go back we didn't just like see it all and do it all we need to go back because there's still lo like a lot to do um like loads to do and the shops were amazing honestly I did absolutely love it and it was completely different to Venice and if you've not checked out the Venice vlog by the way please go check that out but Venice was really really hot compared to Milan really weirdly I know it's both in Italy but Milan was just like a little bit cooler um temperature and just like so nice it was like some really gorgeous places to like go the hotel was so nice the staff were lovely couldn't recommend that hotel enough actually um their rooftop was just dreamy and we sat there on the last night having wine before went for food and it was just really special i don't know it's it really ended the trip perfectly um but yeah that is the end of the sort of wedding content kind of maybe i am going to put another wedding video up if i do end up putting some clips of the wedding on youtube i don't know depending on how much jake's in and stuff i don't know um, obviously he's going to be in it a lot so whether I can crop them out basically um, and then the next video you're going to see on the channel is actually the wedding debrief so all things me talking about the wedding but I just wanted to come on and just do a little roundup of Milan because I don't really think I expressed how amazing it was and how much I actually loved it and Jake loved it but yeah that's the end of this video so thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and of course I will see you in my next video